The frog and the beaver. The frog and the beaver. Every morning frog wake up from under his leaf and look out over a beautiful river. Oh, that's a beautiful river. Frog shared the river with his friends, the ducks, and their ducklings. The water voles in their baby water voles. Everyone li lived happily together. It was perfect. Then, one day, a young beaver came swimming down the river. Hello, little fella, said the beaver. I'm the beaver. Hello, friends, says the frog. Well, I'm looking for a place to build my first dam, said beaver. It's going to be the biggest and the best dam you've ever seen. Well, this is a great place to live, said frog. You will love it here. Wonderful, said Beaver. I'll get chewing. But next day, Frog wake up to see the water in the river is, was very low. Hey, where is the water on the river? What happened? said Vole. We can hardly swim. It's that Beaver, said Duck. Mm, that beaver, that naughty beaver. Have you seen the side of his dam? Leave it to me, leave it to me, said Frog. I will go and see him. Hello, beaver. Can I have a word? Oh, sorry, Frog. Can't stop the chat. I have, have you seen my dam? Isn't it fantastic? Well... Yes, said Frog, but it's stopping all the water. Beaver was too excited to listen. This is going to be the best dam for miles around, he said. Everyone will love it. The following day, the water in the river had almost gone. There's no water in the river. It's that blooming beaver, said Duck. That blooming beaver. Beaver. Who does he think he is? I wish I was a bigger, said Vol. How teach him a lesson? Oh dear, signed Frog. I will talk to him again. Don't worry. Look, said Beaver. As soon as he saw Frog, I told you my dam would be the best. Don't worry. But Beaver, said the Frog, why does it have to be so big? We haven't any water left. There's a lot of water on my side, said Beaver. Why don't you all move up here? Why do we have to move upstream? Said the duck. And all the animals moved to the river. Upstream. I'm sorry, said Frog. Beaver just wouldn't listen. I wish I was bigger, Mutter Vol. I would tell him where to go. When they arrived, Frog introduced everyone to Beaver. Hello, said Beaver. Hello, everyone. Look at my dam, isn't it amazing? That evening, Frog helped the ducks collect sticks to build a nest for the night. Then he helped the water voles dig a new hole. Finally, Frog fell asleep under an old leaf. By morning, Beaver has finished his enormous dam. It's brilliant, boosted Beaver. It's nearly as tall as the mountains. Frog, Frog! Frog, Frog, look! It's the best dam in the world world. You can all swim here. Frog looked. He saw the huge dam, but he also saw the water about to burst over the top. 
Look out, Beaver! Suddenly, branches began to creak and snap. Oh no! It's breaking, broken! Stone stumbled, blown, crash, and then. Oh no! All the animals are falling! Whoosh! The water came crashing through the dam! Beaver was sent tumbling over the hover again, and boulders and branches sped by. Oh, and then came the ducks and the ducklings and the water voles and the baby water voles and, of course, the frog. Where is the frog? Oh, it's here. Whoa! Swim for the bank, shout the frog. Swim from the bank. Oof! The ducks, the water voles, the frog all made it safe at the shore. Is everybody okay? asked frog. Is everybody okay? We are okay, said Vol, but I think Beaver is in trouble. Oh no, is he all right? asked Duck. He swallowed too much water, said Frog, but I know what to do. Frog jumped and up and down on the Beaver's back. Poing, 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 until Beaver begins to cough and splutter. Where, where I am? What happened? asked Beaver. You damn bird, said Dusk. Frog saved your life. Really? Beaver was quiet for a moment. How can I have a thank you, Frog? He gasped. Well, we've lost our homes again, sighed Frog. Perhaps you could help. Anything, said Beaver eagerly. And then the Beaver helped the ducks build a new nest. I'm going to help you to build a new hair nest. Not too big, thought, said Duck. And he dug a new hole for the water voles in the baby water voles. Not too big, thought, said Vol. And finally Beaver built a dam for himself. There. Everything on the river was perfect again. All the animals are happy now. Especially for Beaver's best friend, Frog. He's got a new house. And that's the end of the story.